it's been uh, 18 years since we had a great study done. Yeah. So I'm just trying to remember back 18 years what the engineer looked at. Well, it, I, what I heard, you got, you got already a, a demand, demand rate on your, on your commercial class, you have your residential class. I mean, uh, you already have the game on some of them. I know, I'm, I'm doing a study right now that has a flat rate. Commodity charge for everybody. So I see a lot of towns doing that. Yeah, and that's that's not cost of service. So what what we typically do then is okay. How much do you want to buy it on? For this go round we're going to split residential and commercial. Next go round we might look at seasonal, and that'd be something. I mean, if you guys seasonal is not something you have to do, but it's something that we would be able to do. How many options are, would you give us for this cost? Are you looking at just a one step kilowatt rate? The the cost. The cost, the cost service study is a cost service study. So if you say you want seasonal rates, you get seasonal rates at that price. If so you we want. have to tell you what we want. Right. Well, I'm, yeah. We, you want. You know what you want or better one, than I do. One of right. the well, uh, we, but we, yeah, we still have several different scenarios about sure. how different rates. Now could play we out. we would prefer to design rates once per time per two years. We uh, we wouldn't. I mean, we could design rates and say, all right, here's your ordinance. Of, of design rates with the threshold moving each class towards cost of service. And then one, one we could show you what seasonal rates would look like. Um, you know, I heard you're a winter peaker, so we could show you what seasonal rates would look like. Um, but just beforehand, it's, it's nice to say, I mean, we can recover the same revenue each way. It's more of a question, do you want to have a seasonal rate? Not even with seasonal rate, we had a, like having a a customer charge and then a one step kilowatt. Oh, blocks, hours. blocks. Or having, we have right now we have a two step. You have a, okay, two blocks. Yeah. So are you going to look at both of them? Yeah, we would look at we would look at those blocks and say, okay, um, sometimes the if, like we had a utility where it was the first fifty kilowatt hours. And that's typically just a customer charge. You do we just throw that in the customer charge and, and recommended them go eliminate that block since there wasn't a lot of customers that were using less than fifty kilowatt hours a month. If that makes sense. Yes, we will look at those blocks and recommend either changing them or leaving them. Um, would come back. You would come back with just one recommendation on. Sure. Because we talked about once the right now we have per thousand kilowatts anything over. You know, it's two steps. For residential and commercial. They're all the same way except well, no. rural and commercial is up to two thousand kilowatts. Okay. But then we also talked about having just one kilowatt rate and a customer charge. Yeah, we could we could very easily. Show you two you different you scenarios. Two oh yeah. Oh yeah. For that same price. Sorry. For blocks, yeah. This is your low dollar bid because the last guy was using down. <laughs> Actually, uh, we gave you a little bit of a cut already. On that. <laughs> oh, I you said to go the wrong way. <laughs> well. You already told me that I'm the cheapest. So. <laughs> oh, you said that. <laughs> no, no. Bottom line is basically the, the key here is you're getting the two full studies. You're, you're getting the full study right now, and we're back in two years. And then after after that, you say, we like what you did, and we roll an agreement, or you say, we're good now, we don't need you anymore. And, we're done. and I'm sure that this is your thing, but how long does it take to? Before you're back here with the thing, tell us what you think we need to do. Uh, two, two years is typically. No, now, I mean, no, I mean first, before we're ready for the first, first order. First oh, okay, so, so when do we come back to yeah. present? Like six months. Okay, or, what we say in, in the contract, we say 60 days from the time we have all the data. Okay. And that's typically because we have some towns that it's hard to get some data from them, so we can't promise 60 days without them getting us any information. So what we typically say is 60 days. If we had all good data and you guys said, all right, we really would like to have July 1 raise because our fiscal year ending is June, then we would accommodate that schedule. Now, if we look at your financials and say, all right, you guys are fine for a while. Let's design rates for October because some people don't like to, when they have seasonal rates, don't like to have an increase right in the summer because that's when rates jump naturally anyway, but you're not on seasonal rates, so that doesn't matter. But um, essentially, it, it works along your schedule, but uh, two months. Okay. And we, the reason I'm asking is, is how soon do we have to actually make a decision so we get it by the time we really want it? Well, and, 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 well and two months would be when you have rates, typically, 
when we actually be back to present can be very quick. When we show you the perform, when we come back and say, here's your net income, here's your cash reserves, here's your policy, this is what we re recommend, we're looking at 4% increases or 2% increases or whatever it is. Uh, and, then, and then the council says, okay, we like that recommendation, we move to go forward. Or, now we don't like that, what can you do, what other options do we have, and we talk about the options, and et cetera. What, what are you looking at, Scott? We just need to have rates implemented really by the first of the year. First of January. Oh, yeah. We've got a lot of time. We, well, we've got some time yet, but because uh, that's when our new power deal takes a wholesale power contract mm -hmm. is in place as of the first of the year. So, sure. you know, that's the very latest when it can occur. But we want to give our customers plenty of notice. Sure. And that's what last time we had a rate increase, they, the customers say, we know we have to rate increase, but they just would like to have much notice as we can. Well, if you guys, I mean, if you guys made a decision and we have some data, we could be back here in a month or two. We could be back here, you know, saying at least what level you're looking at, and and we can go from there. Have you ever given anybody a decrease recommendation? We typically don't recommend decreases due to the wholesale um, power is projected to increase continually. So what you would do is you'd basically say, okay, we're going <coughs> to decrease. And then next year we're going to give you an increase. So you, you don't you want customers like stable rates. So instead, what we'd say is no increase until they need a small increase, Levels. Levels. as opposed to dipping them down and then having to go right back up. Just so you know, we typically typically do not make everybody happy. <laughs> Trust me, you're at you're talking to a messenger of rate increases. Cut <laughs> <laughs> down that path. Anybody have any more questions? Oh, All right, you. appreciate your time. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Okay, we'll bring it up in the next meeting. Yeah?